Okay, I came on to this uh, furnace. It's a downflow Nordine. Gotta love them downflow furnaces. And it had a little problem. It's about 18 years old. And when we came there, the burner would light, and, but the fan would not come on, and of course it limited out and shut down. We started trying to diagnose what was going on with this thing, and I noticed that this right here, actually the opposite side of this, uh, this plug, I was getting power to two speeds of the motor. That could mean two different things. By the way, I'm going between white, which was common here, and I think I went between blue and red, and I had power on both of those. Well, that indicated to me that it's very possible that the IFC or the control board, whichever you want to call it, the relay had failed there. And I wasn't sure whether the relay had failed or what, but after the motor cooled down, it started again. When I had it plugged in, it started and ran. Now, you can look here, you can see the bearings on this thing look fine. You know, there's nothing terrible wrong with them. And it, and it moves smoothly. There was no problem with bearings. And it did rotate reasonably freely. But when it started and ran, it ran at 10 amps. Okay. This thing is rated, uh, oh, shoot, here it is. Where is it at? It's rated at 6 amps. Uh, actual draw when uh, after I put the new motor in was about four amps so 10 amps is excessive there's something going on here it did rotate normally and it did start okay which uh, threw me off a little bit too so what we ended up with is well let's take a look close at this thing now if you look really close right here those windings are discolored. They're darker than the rest. So this motor, it, there's a couple of things could have happened with this thing, I guess. Uh, it could have had a short inside here that uh, that caused this. I don't. I I really don't know. Uh, the relay that turns on the fan. Let me get that relay showing up here. Okay, this relay here is the one I'm talking about. I did take the cover off of this one uh, so I could look inside. The relay appears to be okay. The contacts don't appear to be uh, uh, burned up or anything. So I'm not sure. I don't really think there's a problem with the relay. I think the problem was here with the windings on the motor. Now, I don't know all this stuff when I first do the diagnosis. I looked inside the motor. I thought I saw a little bit of winding problem in there. But my decision on this thing was to replace this motor and also replace the board. Now, I probably could have gotten away with not replacing the board, because it, once I look at it, I don't see any real problem with the relay. doesn't mean there isn't one. But it has been abused. This is in excess of what it should have been. It may have been higher. And in fact, I did manage to get it to run. I disconnected a couple of speeds, and I did get the motor to operate. And so I put it so it ran all the time. And uh, we had to wait a couple of days to get parts on this thing. And at some point, this motor started, uh, it must have started smoking because the uh, customer called up and said, I'm getting a burn smell from there. It did continue to run, 
but I figured this had been abused to the point that we should replace the board. So the end result of this whole thing is we replace the motor, replace the board, and the unit's back up and running and doing fine. Now, was this really worth it? These things do kind of snowball sometimes, but given the age, I mean, it's kind of in the, in the balance here. I usually figure these things 20 to 25 years. I mean, you replace two of the major parts that fail in it. Uh, so there's something there. Uh, heat exchanger, of course, could be a problem. And the inducer could fail. Those are going to be expensive parts. Okay, so parts. Uh, this motor cost us a little over $200, almost $300 for the board. Uh, labor in this thing, about three hours, maybe three and a half. So uh, we're looking at probably $1,200, $1,300 to replace this thing. Uh, is it really worth it, or should it be re just replace the motor or <laughs> replace the furnace? So, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. This one was not charged out; it was done for a friend. And this is what we're looking at. Is this uh, is it worth it or not? So, anyway, let me know what you think. And uh, that's it on this one.